Oh, Lord, is it going? Hey, y'all, what's going on? Listen, I just did a whole video. I don't know where the motherfucker is, but I'm looking a damn fool. So we're going to go back into this shit. And the actual Walmart, this is a fucking rant. It's all the fuck it is, okay? It's just a rant. And then my motherfucking hat, still, my damn hair stress. I do have my hair stress on. Hey, no. You know, and it is what it is, and I know I look a fucking mess. Listen, okay. So, going to pay the Lowe's bill. Okay? This was the beginning of the day. All right? Oh, Lord. If I sound raspy, y'all, it is because I am getting a cold or whatever. But we're going to move forward. Now, get in Lowe's. Okay? And normally Lowe's has their little writing cards or whatever. You know, I was going to get some other things, end up getting a filter. Y'all know the three-month filter or whatever. Uh, my mother, she got her two of them, you know, just some other things. And she likes the big rolls of bounty. That's like three or four rolls of paper towel in one. They just, you know, we just like those. Okay. So we get what we're going to get out of there, yada, yada, yada. Okay. As we're going out, y'all went through this on the video, and I don't know why the motherfucker didn't upload. I know why. It's because my damn router had to be redone, and it signed me out, so I'm making this video, but it's going up on, I don't, I don't know where the fuck the video went, okay, quality sucks, because y'all know the case, all right, so, as we go out, it's a motherfucker riding fast in a motherfucker in the parking lot, okay, He's in the very first motherfucking Mercedes Benz ever made. Uh, please understand me when I say this shit. I'm like, my mother's going out. I'm in the car. And this is Lowe's. And I'm like, this motherfucker weaves around me. And he goes parts and shit. And I'm like, Lord. And y'all understand that I'm extremely pre post op and menstrual. I'm, I'm just saying. I, I am a motherfucking fool right now. And in here is the motherfucking fool. A bitch can't even contain her. Okay? So, you know, and I kind of calmed down because when the motherfucker opened his door and got out the car, the motherfucker went clank. And he had to take a strain and strap it up. So I'm like, well, maybe the motherfucker couldn't stop. You know, the shit's just rigged. And it is what it is. So we get in the car and I said, damn, I got to pee. Mama said, Nina. You was just in there. Okay. So we're going to go to Wally World. But in the midst of that, she's like, I want a salad or something or whatever. And I said, oh, I want a salad. You know, although I need a salad, like, it's always a big bitch that, like myself right about now, that's like, fuck a salad. You know what I mean? I didn't say this to my mother. Please know that. Okay. So I'm like, uh-huh, okay. Then I said, well, mama, let's go to Wicks. This is a pizza place called Wicks. Okay. So she's like, well, okay, get down there. You know, I couldn't go no further. We went to this, you know, Thornton's. I asked them where it was, okay, and they said the motherfucker was shut down. Okay, I'm in Thornton's. Now, y'all, I got to fucking pee. Now, if you've been with me a long time, you know I got issues with public motherfucking bathrooms. And I'm really fucked up about them right now because with everything going on, a bitch can already get shit without the Ebola. And I'm like, I don't need a motherfucking Ebola filled coup. Okay? So, I am, I have done my fucking ritual. And I will share with y'all what I said in the first one. Is that, y'all know my leg and shit is fucked up. So, I can't really, you know, I don't have the use of both legs. Okay? Like that. Like where I can brace. Y'all know how you squat and hold your drawers in the middle and shit. Y'all know. Toot and boot it. Okay, I can't do that. I got to get extra fucking special. Now, sometimes I have to lean my motherfucking face over on the wall and shit. Now, please understand that what I know is one of those. I'm in there rolling wadding paper, wrapping around my head, making a motherfucking toilet paper pillow, okay? Because I don't want shit to touch whatever. And I done got the way I need to get, and it was fucked up, hands going this way, leg up on this side, the dead motherfucker, I done propped it, and it's just fucked up. And I think, Lord, I did not lock that door. And if a motherfucker come in here, they going to be like, bitch, please. I mean, what can I say? No motherfucker 
thing I could do. Because I'm in that motherfucker wrong. They, I'm in a motherfucking Kama Sutra as sexual position to piss. Okay. Needless to say, can I get the ass right? Because this little bit of shit. Just give me the white one. Anyway, so I'm like, Lord, don't let it back come in this motherfucker. I know what. I don't know, but uh, anyway, so we get that part done. Now we're going to mosey on over to the motherfucking Wally world. Now, okay. Really, baby, you know it's my wig. Don't be looking at my wig like that. Anywho, so, okay, we go in the motherfucker. Now, if you've seen the prior two videos that I put up, I'm out at Wally World in front of that motherfucker. Like, I ain't giving these whores a dime. I can't get in a motherfucking riding car, bitch. I'm not giving you a motherfucking dime in this bitch. When I can't shop in this motherfucker, I have the convenience that I need to shop. Meaning, I need the motherfucking riding car. You know. The bitch, the greeter bitch. She gonna hit me with, uh, I said, well, do you all have any, you know, cards? I'm getting ready to get on, get, get, you know, get to get to going in this one inside the door. Now, there's one outside the door as well. She says, oh, no, that one doesn't work. Then I said, well, what about this? And she said, the one, the first one, bitch, it's only one out there. She says, that doesn't work. And something in me just told me that this bitch was lying. I'm serious, y'all. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So. My handicap ass cannot come in your establishment and spend my money, bitch, because, you know, and of course, they, you know, probably have a few, and they said, well, ours have been broke down. Walmart, you motherfuckers, you swindling motherfuckers left and right. You are not paying people enough to work in that bitch. You are misusing the disabled in that motherfucker. And bitch, you making money hand over fucking fist, bitch. And you mean to tell me you can't get these motherfuckers fixed so that I can come in and shop like the average ordinary person. And yes, I have a handicap or whatever, but bitch, it is supposed to be that. Now, had they have said they were all used and they were gone, it is what it is. But no, in this case, there's none. Just these two that this bitch is telling me that, that they're not working. And I just, y'all, in, in me, I just know the motherfuckers was. And I was like, you know, if I get on this motherfucker and this motherfucker cut on, Lord. Okay. So, I'm like, and my mother, I'm like, mama, get your car. And I'm going to sit right here and wait because they don't have a riding car. She's like, well, let's just leave. And But I know she's going to get something, so why should she have to wait and not get what she needs to get because of that? Her be inconvenienced as well. Of course, she was going to ride or die with me or whatever, but it was just, she said, you know, she went in. I said, go ahead. I'm going to sit out here. While I'm sitting out there, the greeter bitch comes out and talks to this other bitch that just got off work. Okay, and like I said in my other video, I said that I'm not the kind of bitch that's going to let you look down at me, whisper and look at me in that kind of way, bitch, and I'm not calling you on your shit. Bitch, I'm going to make you stand in your shit, bitch, while you down there trying to tell this bitch about what's going on, and there's another sales lady or whatever that's trying to help me, and she finally explains that there are no carts at all, and they are coming to repair them. Are they going to get new ones or whatever? Okay. And I'm looking like, yeah, you know, I you know, I think you're lying. You know, I'm mad the motherfucker. I'm steaming. And then I'm thinking, shit, I don't even want to fucking go to Kroger's because I'm going to go get some motherfucking coffee. You know, my brother wants some coffee or whatever. I don't even fucking drink coffee, but okay. You know, I'm a guy. I just don't feel like going to Kroger's either, so I'm going to get this shit. Okay. Now, I'm fuming, motherfucking mad, and dragging this motherfucker. Y'all, listen. 
Okay, let's let's just move past the dragon. So I get in the motherfucking coffee aisle, okay? Meanwhile, me and this bitch is having a mental motherfucking battle as I'm trying to go this way and this bitch is going that way. And I just want to snatch her motherfucking goosem out of her neck. And I don't give a fuck if there's no goosems. Just act like you know what a motherfucking goosem is, okay? Put it wherever the fuck you want to put it at, okay? All right. So, and it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, I'm going through my shaw, bitch. You know, it's it's just, that's what it is. You know, I'm damn near snatching dreams and shit. What to do, boo-boo. I, I have lost my motherfucking mind. So, I get to the coffee motherfucker now. What? Yes, I did it. Okay, so now what you going to say? I was in that motherfucking after a day. You know, just, and that's just not me. You know, I'm going to have an outburst another way. This one right here just gets me. And, you know, the clapping. I, okay, let's move forward. But I have went all out my frame. Okay, so I'm in the motherfucking coffee aisle trying to find, figure out which one because he drinks the same one my mother does. Meanwhile, she's a couple of hours old. Okay. When I'm there, I get the coffee and I ooze down and I get to the hot chocolate and I'm looking, I'm like, okay. I might get a little bit of hot chocolate, you know. I'm looking. Yes, I did. It's in there. So... <laughs> <coughs> About this time, I see this old ass man coming my way, okay? I'm looking, but I am still fucked up, and, you know, and I'm, and everything's going on in my motherfucking head. Y'all done visualized the fight man this woman should have, and everything. Like, at the point when he came up in my head, people was already breaking us up, okay? I was fucked up in that motherfucker. Okay, he gonna come over and say, I like hot chocolate. Now, and I say I like hot chocolate too, but I'm, you know, at this point I'm hearing this motherfucker. I didn't look at him and he got two different shoes on. His motherfucking shirt is buttoned upside down. He got a pair of loose, and loose ass shorts on and no drawers. I know this. Because he got this saggy ass nut bump in the front, okay? Look like and the motherfucking shorts was knee high length, and look like the motherfucking nuts was hanging all the way down. But we will move forward, okay? And I'm instantly when I see the whole motherfucking shit in my head, I'm like, this motherfucker's crazy, bitch. Hold it together, cause I'm thinking this motherfucker might be looking at me, cause I think he was following me. This motherfucker might be getting ready to try to wear me as a skin suit. Y'all, I'm fucked up. I'm all the way in Silence of the Lamb now. After the fight breaks up in my head. He says the hot chocolate, and I sometimes I use, uh-huh. And as he's talking to me, this is how he's looking. The motherfucker's still talking. I back back and look like the bitch is getting closer. And I'm like, Lord, I'm about to tear this man up, you know, in this motherfucker, you know. And I'm still trying to keep it cool because he's a mental motherfucker. And, you know, I don't want the bitch to jump up out of shit. I'm trying to, I, I, I don't know. Anywho. So he goes on and the motherfucker says, you're best. He said, yeah, and I put hot chocolate, I get that. You're six foot, aren't you? I said, no, I'm six one. Okay. Oh, I like hot chocolate. I'm still fucked up, and I'm not embracing this shit, and it's not until my mother comes, and I fully embrace what this motherfucker's doing, because I'm still fighting with this bitch in the front in my head, and he, I said, oh, well, I got my stuff, I'm trying to get away and go over to the pancake aisle and get some fucking pancakes that I wasn't trying to get, to get away from his wrinkly ass, okay? Okay, so I get the pancakes, my mama's coming, you know, and I'm trying, I'm telling her what the hell was said, and she click, you know, I'm, I'm normally quicker than that. Then she said, well, you should have told him I like hot chocolate too, I just don't too much care for vanilla. You know, because she's like, girl, he's trying to pick you up as a date. Yes. He's trying to 
to pick me up as a date. And I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm selling pussy in the motherfucking coffee and cocoa aisle. What the fuck? I don't know. I just said to my mother, and I'm thinking, she's like, girl, that man's cat. Honey, he must have thought she was in here working. Because apparently now, the girl's here in Kentucky and got so strung out on his heart when these bitches are working the aisles of Walmart. Okay? So maybe I look the part, and I know I won't. Touch. Okay? So this motherfucker comes over to where the pancakes are. And he says, oh, well, I got this. I just don't squeeze this in there. Thanks for the conversation. What was your name? I said, Nino. He said, oh, that's a Spanish name. I said, no. He said, Nina. Is it, no, he said, is that with an N or an M? I said, Nina. He said, oh, that's a Spanish name. I said, no, my mother, you know, it could be whatever, however. But my mother named me after Nina Simone. This motherfucker, he didn't care, you know. And I'm like, all right. Oh, well, my name is so-and-so, but it's really Larry. He told me some well, bitch, why are we playing the name game? Now in my head I realize that he is soliciting. I'm like, what the fuck? Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, I get my shit out of there. Then it's time to check out and the damn greeter bitch is up there. Now y'all, I get my damn shit because I'm mad I ain't going to wear it and I don't want my mother to have to do no extra. I'm going to suck this shit up. This bitch is making sure we lock eyes and lean over and look at me. I'm getting my shit, and as the bitch is scanning my shit, I'm looking at, you know, at, you know, we going through the whole shit. Needless to say, I do the slow by her, like, so you can get it. Go on, honey, step all the way out, baby. Go on, do it. Please do it. I done lost it. We made it out of there. And my mother is laughing at me because I am so past livid to the point where I don't realize that this man thinks I'm selling pussy. Moving forward. And I'm glad my husband wasn't there because I know, it, you know what, see see how good he is because he will make sure that certain shit, because he, okay, we'll move forward. We don't even need to get into the craziness that would have been him because I'm already a lunatic in there. So we go. We're going to get something to eat. She wants to get salad. Okay. We in the shit. We sit down. And she says, I'm going to get it. Okay. So we sitting there, and you know, it's that Veterans Day, y'all. And just as a, a better note for a second to this video, I'm looking at all the vets. But there was this one man that was an older gentleman, and he had on all of his shit and his medals and shit. And it's like that moment just then, it is very important what they do for us. But for some reason, today was the day that it set in on my ass. Exactly. Fully. You know, I, I kind of got a look <clears throat> emotional and shit, you know. And I'm like, well, I'm just a crazy bitch and I'm extra. And I'm just really proud and thankful for what they have done. Okay? And I am so full, and I'm like, I know that I'm a crazy bitch. I got to be getting ready to go through menopause because the shit is just getting worse. Okay, so we sit now. About this time, these three whores come in. And then they went what I'm going to call sugar daddy pimp. And we are getting ready. It's, this is at the end of our shit. Now, they come in, but their table wasn't ready, and they were kind of doing something, pulling some more chairs up. And this one bitch is grandstanding, got a bag on her wrist like that, and you know, I don't know what the bitch thought she was doing, but she was just doing just so much. Okay, bitch, do you. That's fine. But there was a lady, which turns out it was, you know, a daughter and her dad, and her dad was older, and he was a vet. Now, he was off balance. And she was trying to, you know, help him to his seat. The bitch with the big bag then hit this man and knocked him off balance. The girl, the lady, his daughter, I, I'm looking like, what? You know, but I sense that she feels somewhat intimidated because these are three sisters and she was a white woman and it was her white. You know, however fucked up it is, we are in Kentucky. And we are in this fucked up ass world where... That seems to be, you know, well, I, I don't know what, ugh, just the fucked up racist ass shit. Okay, it's just fucked up. 
And she says, and I'm looking in her face, and I know that she wants to say what the fuck I'm feeling. And she said, oh, um, no, he'll get off balance. He was off balance. This motherfucking bitch knocked this man almost over. And the bitch didn't say nothing. About that time, here I am. Couldn't have been me. And that's a damn shame. And I'm like, y'all, you, you, I'm this black bitch. Right, that's why I met with it because, bitch, you was wrong for what you did. That woman was in there trying to help her dad in there to celebrate him being a veteran. He looked like he was about 90. Child, if that had been my daddy, I would have told her motherfucking goozer mouth. Here we are again with the fucking goozer. Some people know how to act. Who? Some people just know how to act. Who knows how to You talking about the daughter? Yeah. She, the look on her face was what I wanted to do. But, but she, she got intimidated. Like she left her normal, you know. Please. If you fucking eat my chips or hoy cookie, I will stab you in the face. Oh, Just give me my motherfucking cookies. Anyway, you can have one. That's it. Oh, okay. Now nah, you wasn't looking. I'm glad I didn't get Oreos. I know that would have been a wrap. Anywho, and I'm upset because this woman has got intimidated. And I'm like, I'm in my head like. Say the word, bitch, and we can rap. But it was so hurtful. But I felt some kind of way because at the end of the day, my daddy's older, my mother. And when I see older people, that could be that. We are talking with now you and Walmart. We're talking about the man. So that almost got knocked in. Now, but but we're talking about the man. I don't know what happened. But I'm ready to claw this bitch's face up. Like I am so ready to go here and get him up. Okay, well I was still upset. And I'm I couldn't you know, I'm just pissed, y'all. So I the moral of the motherfucking story is I have lost my rabbit ass man. Walmart can kiss my ass. Motherfuckers. Bitch, you didn't give me a motherfucking discount. You didn't give me a motherfucking thing. Even and I wasn't able to shop as I needed to as a disabled person. Bitch, I didn't get no discount. I didn't get none of that. I had to pay the same price to be fully inconvenienced. So I say, chew my motherfucking draws. Walmart. Fuck you and every motherfucker that look like you. On that note, y'all, I'm out of here. That's it. I'm out.